I'm reviewing this instructional DVD, Secrets of Classical Painting, with Juliet Aristides. Here's the front and the back. And then inside, there's two discs, and then they have the runtime and widths on each DVD. So in this DVD, she takes you through how to paint this painting, and she does it from life so you see the model and her painting of her making this and it takes her two days to get the result of this painting. On disc one there's demonstration day one which has 217 minutes which is about three and a half hours. So it starts off with her getting the pose with the model and her saying her advice on how she finds and picks a pose. When she finds a pose she starts the painting by getting the drawing on canvas. She's using charcoal and she's using comparative measuring for this. And then when she posed the model and she started the charcoal drawing, you can see that the model's sitting like this with her leg out in front before the leg was crossed over. So you really just saw the woman's back, her arm and her head like that. But, and she started her charcoal drawing with that. But during the time she stops and she said that the model said that her leg kept falling asleep so they needed to change the position so instead of having her leg crossed over it's now down so it's i think it's pretty interesting and good to see uh something like this happen where if the model thinks they can hold a pose but then it's becoming le that they can't because it's really uncomfortable like a leg falling asleep or something like that that she doesn't scrap the whole painting but accommodates the model and then changes her drawing. So I like to, I think it's nice that you can see that issue and how it's resolved. Once she finishes the charcoal drawing, she shows you four different ways that you can fix it on canvas. So then when you paint over it, the charcoal under it, under it, the lines that you want to save aren't going to move around. Once she fixes her charcoal drawing to her canvas, she starts the painting part of it by doing a grisaille. So she uses one dark color and just gets the representation of value so she takes you through the process of how she does that and then after the grisaille she starts doing the the painting and how she does it which i find really interesting to watch as she uses a lot of broken color how she builds it up and she uses a technique called tiling so she kind of puts tiles of color to make up the figure the background and what the model's sitting on and that's pretty interesting. I haven't seen as much use of broken color to build up a painting in the other DVDs, which I've reviewed before, which is the Daniel Graves one and the Cesar Santos. And that concludes the demonstration day one. There's also an interview with Juliet Aristides, which is 37 minutes. And in this interview, she talks about her philosophies on art and how she came to be a painter and just her life with art. And then to finish the DVD, there's an exhibition of works, which is five minutes long. So it's a slideshow of her paintings. Moving on to disc two, there's demonstration day two, which is 248 minutes, which is a little bit over four hours. And so this day she's resolving up the painting, the choppy broken color that she had before. She's refining that. And I still, I like that you still see a lot of broken color, but it's more refined and gradual and less where it needs to be, but also more broken up where it's interesting to see that as well. It then ends with her finishing the painting and explaining how, what she does to finish a painting and when she knows it's done. And so all in all, this is pretty interesting with showing the technique of using broken color and she starts off with extreme Kind of, it's not too extreme, I guess, but uh, it is more broken color where there's not a lot of mixing on the canvas at all. And then towards the end of it, it gets more refined from that. So she finishes this painting in two days, starting off with posing the model, charcoal drawing, all the way through to the end of the painting. And while she's painting, she is talking a lot through it about what she's doing, tips, advice, and also like little bits of philosophy on what she thinks about painting. And again, I really like the camera angles that the Streamline people do for their art videos. So there's a camera that's on her painting and then the screen will either be split and you'll see the model on the other side or if it's a close up of the painting and an area that she's working on, they'll usually be a shot of the model as well in the 
lower left hand corner, which is good so you can get, be comparing the thing that she's looking at the subject and how she's figuring that out with paint strokes. So you can be constantly comparing between the two. Also then there's a camera angle that shoots downward. So she has an arm palette so you see her mixing and you can see how she's pulling out the colors to put on the canvas. She also goes over her palette, though she goes over it kind of quickly. So if I would want to mimic what she's doing with her palette, I think I'd have to watch those parts a few times. She does use a lot of colors as well. So she starts off with lead white, brilliant yellow, yellow ochre, burnt umber, olive green, Venetian red, alizarin crim crimson, and ivory black. And she starts off with the pa that palette and then she moves on to a second fuller palette and adds the colors Naples yellow, orange ochre, rose gray, burnt sienna, ultramarine blue, and cadmium red medium. So again, following this, that would take me a bit to kind of understand all those colors and what it's doing. That might just be me too because I'm working with an extremely limited palette which only has four colors which that's including black and white. So maybe that's not a problem for anyone else, but you do get a lot with it. You see every paint stroke that she puts down to make this up, and also every time that she mixes a new color or takes her brush and is brush mixing on her palette, you do see everything. So I got this DVD for free for winning a contest, but if you would like to get it yourself, it looks like getting the DVD is $127. Um, it's two discs. The length is in total is eight hours and 45 minutes. And if anyone's interested in getting this, I'll put a link where you can purchase this through the Streamline video, guys.